If there's one thing Call of Duty Zombies can't be without, it's wonder weapons. Practically every zombies map in existence has its own wonder weapon. And in this video, we're going to be going over the 10 most pointless wonder weapons in zombies history. There's a lot of weapons to look over, so buckle up, like this video if you've used any wonder weapons in this video, and let's get started. Our first pointless wonder weapon is going to be Transit's Jet Gun, and I don't think there is any surprise here. The Frostodyne Aeronautics Model 23 is the first buildable wonder weapon in the history of Call of Duty Zombies and comprises of four parts scattered around the map, creating this abomination. Unlike most weapons, however, this doesn't take a weapon slot and takes the place of a buildable, which in theory sounds like a great thing. And the jet gun also boasts infinite damage as long as you rev the motors of the jet gun to 40,000 RPM. But as I'm sure you're all aware, this gun breaks and it makes it almost completely useless. The gameplay you're seeing here is of a modded version of Black Ops 2 to show you what an ideal version of this gun would operate as. If you use this gun to the point where it breaks, the parts scatter around the map and you're going to have to rebuild it again. This seriously limits how much of the gun you can use and ultimately makes this gun pointless because there's no point using something that can break on you that quickly and easily. And it's so slow in getting to the point where it will kill instantly that you could easily take it down whilst using it. As far as Treyarch Wonder Weapons go, this might go down in history as the most hated wonder weapon ever. This next weapon might be one that you guys have used the least out of any in this video. And this is the Forge 3s from Zombies in Spaceland and Infinite Warfare Zombies. This can be purchased for 500 tickets in the Astrocade. There's no other way of getting this weapon and it fires a beam of cold energy freezing zombies in a solid block of ice. Now the thing is, once the zombies are frozen, they can fall out that ice and come back. So you need to follow it up with a pulse shot from this weapon that shatters the zombies and completely kills them. Very interesting with this weapon, it has a built-in fusion magazine, which allows it to automatically recharge energy when depleted. So you never have to reload it. And for a fair amount of time, it will have a lot of power. But once you've used all the ammo up, that's it. You cannot buy ammo back for it from the arcade machine you're gonna have to wait for a max ammo or pack a punch it and i really feel like this weapon has an identity crisis because it just doesn't feel like it fits to me in zombies in space land and no one ever buys this thing like 500 tickets is quite a lot it takes up a weapon slot and there's just so many other things you could choose to have i mean this map literally has four incredible wonder weapons there's no reason why you'd get this over those sticking with infinite warfare zombies the next weapon we'll look at is the mad from attack of the radioactive thing. The modular atomic disintegrator shoots powerful atomic blasts at zombies, but by default is missing a few weapon attachments, which you can get by finding them around the map, adding them to the weapon, giving it a ton more abilities. It can shoot single fire blasts, or you can turn the crank to give a ultimate blast capable of taking out multiple zombies at once. The only issue is you can burn through ammo so quickly with this weapon when using it in both single fire or by using charge shots and the only way to refill the ammo is to go up to these weird green alien balls around the map which refills the weapon but no longer allows you to refill ammo from that spot when put up against all the other amazing wonder weapons in infinite warfare it just feels like you could easily not take this weapon use something else entirely and do far better with it the next wonder weapon on the list is one which i feel bad for putting on here but it is pointless as much as it is amazing and it is the spider bait from Zetsubo no Shima. It almost sounds unbelievable that back in Black Ops 3 Zombies, you could play as a spider. And don't get me wrong, it is absolutely amazing, but we all have to agree here that it is slightly pointless. You can kill zombies as a spider, but you are very weak. The only thing that saves you from this is being invincible whilst you're in the spider bait. As you can see from this gameplay in the boss fight, all the spider can kill is pretty much just spiders. Now it can also take out thrashers and it take about 10 or so webs to take out thrashers. So it's not completely pointless, but at this point, you'd probably just use a weapon instead of spider bait. Am I right? Coming up next on the list is from World War II Zombies and it's the Ripsaw from the Darkest Shore easily one of the most pointless wonder weapons ever made. To get this weapon, you first need to pick up two randomly spawned parts around the map and place it in this workbench with the saw to create it. Now, first of all, you have to pay for this once you've crafted it. Like, what is that about? But upon first getting it, its only purpose is to harvest zombie spines. Once you have that spine, you place it back in the workbench to get souls to get this thing fully assembled. This thing shoots saw discs, which bounce around the walls and looks pretty 
pretty cool, but it's pretty weak. It has a really sad amount of ammo and just feels like a pointless wonder weapon. 95 of the mystery box weapons will do a lot more damage with more ammo than this. Our next weapon is very similar to the Ripsaw, and this is the Smiley from Zombies in Space Land Raven the Redwoods. Now, this is a Easter egg reward you get from completing the main quest available in the power room. And when this first launched, this weapon was potentially one of the best weapons ever seen because it had essentially infinite ammo with its primary shooting animation where if you shoot it like a normal weapon you'll have the blade hold out and it spins around and any zombies it kills will take some ammo away if you aim down sights with it it will shoot out a disc and ricochet for a few seconds now this is nowhere near as bad as the rip saw but just because it has such a small amount of ammo being 36 that's technically only 36 zombies that you can kill with this saw before you're out of ammo it makes sense for this weapon to be in the map because this is the only way to take out the slasher but again when pitted up against four elemental crossbows there's no reason why you'd take this over those weapons which is why i feel it's a pointless wonder weapon these next weapons are going to have a similar theme and you're going to see what i'm talking about we're going to start out with the lz52 limbo from advanced warfare exo zombies carrier this is a really unique wonder weapon as it's in the name it shoots a long laser beam across the room that slices zombies through it's a one hit kill until round 12 it's definitely a great concept for a wonder weapon but in practice this thing just isn't very strong at all when you think of a wonder weapon you think of something that's super super powerful that will get you out of any situation in the quick of a moment and this weapon just isn't one of those you have no control on how high that laser beam limbo line is and where it begins at it's very likely than not in the later rounds you'll be making crawlers galore with this thing but if you thought this was the only pointless wonder weapon on exo zombies you are wrong because we're now going to look at the trident this is a crossbow like weapon that fires bolts that bounce off walls and zombies multiple times again it's a very unique concept for a wonder weapon but you cannot at all control how well this weapon is going to perform if at all because you have no control how many times this weapon is going to bounce a bolt off the wall if it's actually going to hit zombies you really don't know it's at least way more powerful damage wise than the previous weapon we looked at as it's an insta kill if it hits in the torso or the head but it will make a crawler if hit anywhere else but just like with the last weapon it suffers the same thing where you have no control on where exactly this ball is going to bounce around where it's going to hit if it's going to take out the zombies in the time you need it to it's very unreliable it definitely feels more like a gimmick wonder weapon than one that's actually useful but you guys may disagree I definitely wouldn't rely on this to get me out of a pinch continuing the trilogy that is exo zombies the next wonder weapon is going to be the magnetron from exo zombies burger town now the thing is the magnetron is very similar to the em1 which is another directed energy weapon in the game it fires a continuous beam of directed energy that will cause zombies to explode when killed a little bit like the wave gun it also suffers the same thing as the jet gun from transit where this gun can overheat although it's not going to break on you when it does overheat you're gonna have to cool the battery down by just running around with it out this weapon isn't overly strong especially when you compare this to the em1 which isn't a weapon you're gonna want to use much anyway I feel like it's the least inspired wonder weapon out of the bunch from exo zombies and definitely the most pointless out of all of them we've looked at so far coming up on our last and final weapon in this video is going to be one which you guys are probably going to be a little bit sad about and this is the gauntlet of Siegfried from Gorod Krovi. Now, it's definitely a good thing to use and it is awesome, but it's on here as a pointless thing because it only exists really for one purpose outside of gameplay and that's just the melee cabinet to get one of the trophies for the easter egg I do feel bad for putting this in this video as a pointless wonder weapon because it's definitely not pointless but you've got to admit if you're playing this map generally you're probably not going to go out of your way to get it and if you're doing this for the easter egg once you grab this thing you will barely use this in gameplay just because you've forgotten that it's there it's basically a super melee for a little bit and you can send out the dragon to fly around kill some zombies or you 
use the flamethrower, which is cool. But again, it's just not that viable in comparison to all the other incredible things that are on this map, such as the ray gun Mark III, monkey bombs, even the dragon strikes as well. But it honestly is a bit of a tough call to put this on the list, but there wasn't anything else that really fit the same criteria. And the gauntlet came to mind. But let me know what you think of the weapons in this video. If you think there's something I've missed, please let me know in the comments below. I think it's fair to say that Triarch Zombies came away pretty unscathed in this video. If you enjoyed this and you want to see similar videos like this on other topics in zombies, perhaps stuff that is also pointless or forgotten, let me know below. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, a like would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more zombies and I'll catch you for another video very, very soon.